Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I just want to quickly go over my settings and stuff and how uh, what what settings will affect your performance and all that lot. I'm doing it because quite a lot of people have asked about it as well. Like there's a few people in on my YouTube comments and a few people in the Discord channel. Which you can join by the way. So first of all Nothing here out of these first four really help you with performance. I mean, scale might. To be honest, I don't know about that. I've never tried it the other way around. Uh, so yeah, 1440p. I've, I've done full. It's best to do full screen, because if you do windowed, sometimes it can go a bit weird. And obviously, max out your FPS limit as well. Um, I don't do any of this where it's limited in menu or background. You should do because it helps resources, but I don't do it. So, graphics quality. I've got high. I do high because it's not, you know, it's in between. It's like midway, and that sorts out everything else for you. But then I turn cascades off because it's, it's a high performance hit. So are shadows as well. I have DLSS on because... It's supposed to be a lot better, but it, I, I never really noticed the performance, to be fair. Water quality, obviously you need that way down. <laughs> There's no point in that. Shader level just makes it look a lot better, because I stream as well on Twitch, so it just makes it look, look a lot better in on stream and in, in videos and stuff. All this is maxed out just to make it look better. You could, you could probably ma uh, lower uh, any of these to get better performance. Cascades, like I said, that's one of the main hitters. Shadows, you don't really need that. Draw distance is just for... That one's draw distance. Yeah, because it's so big, I get confused on which line is which. <laughs> but yeah, draw distance, I have that max so I can see um, airdrops and stuff in the far, you know, in the distance. Um, I could probably turn grass shadows off. Global render distance is on, obviously, yeah, but that's, um, yeah, you'd, it, it, it's GPU performance, so my GPU is good enough, so I can have that on. But I have it about midway. I don't, there's no point having it a bit, a bit, a bit higher up anyway. Everything's fine. <laughs> so that's everything in graphics. Image settings, I have anti-aliasing off because I have DLSS on. Uh, depth of field, which, yeah, like it says there, it looks cool, but it adds nothing. So I have that off, because there's no point. Um, ambient illusion, uh, occlusion, sorry, you can probably turn that off. I think, it, yeah, it just makes it look look better. Uh, bloom, I have turned off as well, because that's to do with lighting and stuff. So sometimes I think everyone has that turned off. And if you have it turned off, you can see... Um, you can see lights through the wall, so if you have that turned on, sometimes it doesn't do it properly, so that's a good thing to see a bit better. Motion blur, nobody has that on, come on. <laughs> and then yeah, it's just sun shafts, lens dirt, that's just added stuff to make it look better, but it doesn't actually add performance like there. It doesn't do a performance hit, so that's pretty good. And then experimental, obviously, garbage collect, I have that on. It consumes more RAM, but it it helps loading. I don't have that on because I prefer everything to just load straight away. Even though it does say that it's it's helpful for SSDs, but ah, pedal support. I don't know why I have that on, but it don't it don't help anything anyway. So and then yeah, like I say, shadows and culling, which I don't really. I think that's so that you can see garage doors. You know when you can see that little garage door thing at the top? I think that hides it. So it's best to have that off if you're raiding. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got um, I've got a Ryzen 9 3900X and a RTX 3060 with 16 gigs of RAM and an M.2 M drive. So it's not a bad system, but it's, it's not like the highest end and stuff like that. So... Um, yeah, thanks for watching. This was just a quick video. I thought people have been asking, so I'll get it out there and, you know, help people. Um, like I said, I've done some suggestions, like if you want to turn them down and stuff, it gets you a bit more FPS. 
in outposts and stuff and big monuments, I get about 50, 60 FPS, but mainly while I'm in base and farming and stuff, I get about 80 to 100, sometimes 110. If I look at the I look out at the ocean, I get about 120. <laughs> That's because yeah, everyone gets high high FPS when they look out at the ocean because there's nothing there. But yeah, um, hope this helps everyone. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.